All right, welcome back to another TK421 Collectibles video. Today we've got Death Watch Mandalorian TMS026. Hot Toys haven't released a Star Wars figure in months, and then two come along on the same day. Captain Rex and now Death Watch Mandalorian. Let's open this one up and have a look. TK421, why aren't you at your post? Because I'm busy buying collectibles, sir. Okay, so let's go. Death Watch Mando. Let's get the uh, plastic off. So yeah, released on the same day as uh, Captain Rex. Like two in one day, what the hell? Dot toys, calm down. Let's have a look at the box. Death Watch Mandalorian, Team Mass 026. Picture of the figure. Picture of the figure. That looks cool, that, doesn't it? Get the lid off. And see how inlay. I love this, love this picture. I think I'm gonna try and get him posed up like that. I don't know if that, that, I think that's the figure. And there he is. Another jetpack. Cool. I don't really use the flame effects. Let's have a look at the accessories anyway. Okay, let's have a look at the accessories. So you get the um, jetpack. Looking good. Nicely weathered. Magnetised on the back, so it's easy to put on. Which I like. And then the flame effects. I do like these flame effects, but I don't tend to use them. I just tend to stick him in a, a non flight pose. Blaster rifle. Looking good. I like the scope on it. Scratches down it on the, uh, the stock there. Nice. Blaster pistol. Dropped it. And you get, you only get six hands, so two fists, two relaxed hands that are on the figure, and two weapon holding hands. Nice bit of detail on there, looking good. You get an interchangeable left piece of thigh armour. Yeah, that's looking good. And uh, there you go, Death Watch Mandalorian display base. The Navarro type base that you get with the Scout Trooper and all that. And that is it for accessories. Oh, flight pole. Dynamic flight stand, whatever you want to call it. With the, um, the waist grabber that I've left in the box for now. And that is it for accessories. So let's have a closer look at the figure. All right, so there he is. Now I've just noticed on mine. Look at his, look at his viewfinder. I don't think it's supposed to be bent like that. Oh dear. Or is it? I don't know. Look straight on the um, on the pictures up there. Let's see if I can. My viewfinder. Very bendy. Right. I'll have to try and straighten that out in a bit. Okay, apart from the bendy viewfinder, uh, that's looking pretty good. That's scratched up here. It's good detail on that. Hmm. Yeah, that's really annoying me, that. <laughs> okay, let's move down the figure anyway. Let's I'll take the plastic off. Right, so let's have a look without the plastic on. So, breast plate looking good. Some battle damage, scratches, scarring and stuff. That looks good. So he's got like this brown kind of undersuit on. Looks like he might have a fat suit on as well, which I know some people don't like, but I quite like it because it makes them look, bulks them out a bit so they're not dead skinny. Um, like the detail on the pauldron here. Gauntlets looking good. We've got a holster on the side. Pouches on his belt. Looking, looking pretty good quality that. Liking that. Liking it. That's all Velcro fastened. 
really good. Because it's um, it's similar to obviously similar to Mando, but definitely um, a lot of differences. And the detailing on the this thigh armor and his knees, boots, all one. No, a little canister on the side as well. Boots are one piece, so you might get start to get that thing where they kind of bunch up a bit. But I'm not too bothered about that. It's actually a good amount of detail on the boots as well, like the uh, the mud at the back. I don't know if it comes up on the camera that, but the mud and the um, like scuffing on the boots. Some good detail on there, and the, the detail on these knee pads as well. Might not be everyone's cup of tea this because it's quite a simple, simple looking figure. And the Death Watch emblem on the other pauldron. And that that's pretty much it. So that is annoying the hell out of me, that. <laughs> the heck, sorry. Annoying the heck out of me. Let me just see if I can. <sighs> what the hell? But other than that, <laughs> other than that bloody viewfinder, well maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Because it... It just doesn't look bendy on the pictures, it does on mine. But I mean that looks alright there. I don't know, I'm going to have to look at some videos I think. To see how everyone else's is appearing. Let me know in the comments, has you got a bendy viewfinder or is it straight? <laughs> Alright, let's get him on the turntable, quick spin, a bit like these pouches and stuff. It's going to be a quick video I think, but I do like it. It's not a 100 out of 10 like Captain Rex, but it's looking good. It's going to go well on the Mando shelf, shelves. Oh, the replacement leg armour, by the way, you just velcro off and pop this one on. Quite like that, actually, with a bit of the battle damage on it. I think I'll keep that one on. Jetpack. Cool. I do like it when they, when they get, have holsters like this, because... I like to have all the accessories out, you know, whatever it comes with, so get that in there. There you go. Then I can have that in there, any mould in the other one. Lovely. Okay, let me know in the comments if you're getting this figure. I do think it's looked really good. Now, I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea because he's... Um, Obviously quite a simple figure. You don't get many accessories with it. It is very similar, to, obviously, to to the Mandalorian himself, but because um, I'm getting a quite... A, well, I've got all the Mandalorian line at the minute, I think, so this is kind of a must-have, really, for the collection. Um, it does look cool, I've got to admit. It does look cool. And you need a Death Watch Mando, don't you? Even if you like Clone Wars. So... And it, there is a load of, obviously, um, loads of differences between this and Boba Fett and the Mandalorian. Heavy infantry Mando. All very different, so it's definitely worth getting. But yeah, I can see why people might pass on this one, but it is a must-have for me. And I have managed to tease his viewfinder kind of back into position, so it's not all bended over his head. So, I'm quite pleased that that's... I'm going to keep tweaking it a bit just to make it so it's there's no bend in it at all. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing that bothered me with this figure straight away. Just the bendy, bendy viewfinder that I had. But uh, other than that, I'm made up with this one. It's getting better and better the more I look at it. You might struggle to get a really, really dynamic pose out of this because, yeah, I've just been messing about in the flat, the fat, the flat suit. The fat suit does limit uh, articulation quite a bit. So, um, 
Yeah. That might be another factor for you picking him up or not. Uh, if you are picking him up, let me know in the comments. Are you getting him? Um, if you're a Mandalorian completionist, then he's definitely worth it because it's looking looks really cool. Uh, really impressed with it. So yeah, let me know what you think of the figure. Is he going to be entering your collection anytime soon? Have you got him pre-ordered? Uh, like I say, I think he's, he's worth picking up. Might not be for everyone. I'm giving him an 8 out of 10, I reckon. 8 out of 10. Would have been a, a 9, but for the uh, the bendy viewfinder. But yeah, I do like it. So it's, it'll sit well on the Mando shelf. So I hope you like that quick video. If you would do me a favour and subscribe, I'd be really appreciative of that. Um, I tend to tend to get new releases quite soon so if you want to see a, a figure uh, pretty sharpish after release check the channel out click the bell notification icon and all that kind of stuff don't forget to give us a like as well really helps me out thanks a lot thanks for watching see you in the next video